This video will cover streaming an actor in Motion Builder and applying a 3D character model onto that actor. In order to follow along, you will need Motion Builder and our real-time plugin as well. You can download that by logging into your support account at Byton.com and searching for Motion Builder plugin. You will also need to have an actor set up and running in real time. Before we get into Motion Builder, we first are going to make sure we have everything set up in Blade. For this example, I am only going to stream Owen, our actor. In the character management editor, I'm going to turn off the bat prop. At the top, open the data stream editor to verify that the server is active and the sync with connect are turned on. You can also specify a port here, but I'm going to leave it at default. Now switch to Motion Builder. In this video, I'm using 2014, but the process is much the same in earlier versions of Mobu. In the asset browser, at the bottom right, click on devices. If you've installed the plugin, you will see it show here. Select and drag the device into the perspective window. First, be sure that the stream bones is checked on. Click online. The yellow box is indicating that it is connected, but we don't have anything for the model binding. Click the drop down and then hit create. You should now see the actor bones come into Mobu. Now we need to set up our bones so we can attach a mesh to them. We need our actor to T-pose while we do this. We can pause the data stream after the actor gets in a T-pose. Next, we need to characterize our actor's bones. In the asset browser, under characters, we want to select and drag the character icon onto the hips of our actor, then select bipod. In the navigator, under characters, it has named it by default, and we want to change this so we know which character this is. We are going to be doing this for our model as well. I'm going to name this our actor's name, Owen. Now I'm going to load in a mesh from the preset tutorials folder that comes with Motion Builder. I'm going to use Maya and drop her into the scene. I'm going to merge with no animations. Now I need to characterize her as well, but I can't see her bones. Go to Display, X-Ray, or Control a Now I will switch back to the characters in the asset browser and characterize her just like I did with the Vicon bones. Select Bipod again, and then in the navigator you will see there is another character. I'm going to rename it Maya. Double click on Maya to bring up the option to the right. I'm going to change input to character, and then underneath that the input source automatically switched to Owen, as he's the only character in the scene. If you had multiple characters, this is where you would specify which character is going to be linked to. Then click Active, and you'll notice Maya jumps to Owen's bones. Go back to Devices so we can unpause the stream, and you should now see the 3D character is following your actor. You can turn just the model on by going to Display. This process is the exact same for multiple actors. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email support at bicon.com.